Hello, America, and to our friends around the world, welcome to the Common Sense Show. We are the show that is freeing America, one enslaved mind at a time. Before we launch into this story, i got to give a disclaimer, as I always have to when I do these stories, because angry people will write to me with accusations that aren't founded because they're not familiar with me. I am not a believer in the little gray men. I'm not a believer that ETs are coming here, but I don't discount it's possible. Anything's possible. I believe it's part of the great deception as spoken of in Revelations and other parts of the Bible. I'm actually giving a talk on this later this month at Hear the Watchman Conference. Working on that this weekend, as a matter of fact, and I'll have that done. Here's what I, I'm giving you the takeaway here. I cover this fairly and objectively from all sides. So people who believe in the ET notions, you know, are saying, well, he's at least taking an honest look at it. Those of you who are of my persuasion, look at this as a possible great deception. And my purpose for that is to warn people don't get sucked into false beliefs. And that's the underwriting theme here on this. So please save your messages and don't tell me I'm going to hell because I don't believe in the Bible. Okay, I've heard it. Thank you. Now, let's move on. We're brought to you by a great sponsor, and I love to represent this company, Biotrust Ageless Multicollagen. And the reason you're getting old, in part, is because you're losing collagen. By the time that you're in middle age, you've lost over half of it. Well, there's lots of collagen replacement products out there that would help you slow down hair loss, remove some wrinkles, the joint pain goes away, the nails aren't so brittle. All those things associated with lost collagen, well, it can happen if you have good collagen replacement, but that's rare. But not with Biotrust. Well-researched product, five types of collagen blended into one. And it crosses the blood-brain barrier and begins to do its magic. And you're saying, well, how do we know we can trust you, Dave? And it works. Well, it works. 60-day money-back guarantee takes the risk out of this. And not only that, 53% off. Go to healthwithdave.com. That's healthwithdave.com. Let's get to the story. NASA, never a straight answer. So anything that comes out of NASA, I hold and suspect because they've been caught in so many cover-ups and so many lies in the past, most of them exposed by Richard Hoagland, the former science advisor to Art Bell, told too much truth. So George Norrie said, there's the door. But uh, the late nights in the Art Bell show known Coast to Coast were fantastically filled in part by Richard Hoagland and his expose of the NASA lies. And, and you just can't get away from it. I wish it weren't true. I wish we had an organization that was based on truth and true scientific discovery. They do do some of that, but they do a lot of the politics. They've been guided all along, as I've mentioned many times before, by the Brookings Institute report, which preceded the creation of NASA, and they said, and I quote, if we find that we've been out there before, we must cover it up. If we find there are indeed extraterrestrial life entities out there, we must cover that up because it will destroy society to learn about this information. <laughs> no, no, that's not what science is, people. Okay, to the point of this presentation and this is shocking. Equivalent to the wow signal of the 1970s picked up by SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, through radio telescopes, something similar has happened. A message on a narrow beam, which indicates artificiality, usually, came to these telescopes, radio telescopes, and scientists are stunned and shocked. They've done analysis for potential signal interference, you know, man-made sources, satellite interference, anomalies in space that we're aware of. And, you know, and the signal was rhythmic and had apparently intelligent design behind it. 
And it was so dramatic that NASA Goddard actually had a press conference about this. Now, there are critics, as I am one, because when you're doing research, you must consider all alternatives, and sometimes you have to rule out these other alternatives. I don't know that they can even think of all the alternatives they'd have to rule out because we're not really sure about all the rules that govern the cosmos. We're making new scientific discoveries from Voyager in interstellar space. So we may not totally be aware that this could be a perfectly natural signal, but it doesn't look that way scientifically because of the pattern, the algorithm, and they've used AI to analyze it. And I want to just back away for a second and go sideways on this. The Voyager craft that's left interstellar space encountered something. Could be a natural phenomena, but it began to transmit messages that were not what it was designed to do. And it was beamed at Earth. And it's pretty interesting when we look at that. Um, the signal could not even be deciphered without modern AI. So if it was intelligent, something new that one day we would develop the technology to break down the signal using AI. And this has been a source of big discussion. I've covered it here as well, too. And now we have something related to this. And this is on top of a Muamua. This is on top of the Black Knight. We have all kinds of anomalies. Now, every one of them could be explained by natural phenomena. And if you're a Christian and thinking we're headed for deception, this could be artificially produced by you-know-who. And we consider all possibilities here. But I will tell you this. This is something worth investigating. I looked at the coverage here, and I think that they've taken as much scientific precaution not to draw a false conclusion as possible. Now, what's interesting is the signal comes from 120 light years away, and the general consensus is this is not an area that would seemingly be conducive to life. So this has an effect in some people's minds on astrobiology. Can life exist on planets in what we'd consider to be a hostile, unlivable environment? Very possible. Very possible from what we're seeing here. The reality of all this is we have a big mystery. You know my position. I'm open to the scientific position. I just wish NASA was not in charge of doing this. They've been caught too many times. Thank you, Richard Hoagland. Isn't it interesting that when Coast went woke, after Art was forced out, so was Richard. <laughs> I don't think that's an accident, people. Anyway, I'm Dave Hodges. This is the Common Sense Show for your edification. Uh, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Go to thecommonsenseshow.com. Click on the newsletter link up the right-hand corner. Put in your email, and you'll receive an update of everything we've done in the previous 24 hours. Thanks again.